Welcome Scorpio, we're going to be looking at what you need guidance with right now using the Dragon Oracle, Nature's Whispers and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so let's get into it here. Scorpio, one card for Scorpio from the Dragon Oracle please. That's two cards, we just want one. I want to look what they are first. Here Dragon and... Golden Christ a Dragon. Okay. We'll see if they come out. There it is. Water Dragon. Interesting. Since you're a water sign, Scorpio. Okay. So, look at this. Wow. Hmm. Reminds me of the tower. Crumbling down. But the dragon's on the actual, on the actual um, pillar causing it to crumble down so is this you Scorpio causing a a tower moment interesting anyway water dragon helps you flow easily around obstacles Christ light and love are flowing develop your psychic abilities and go with the flow okay so Let's have a look further into this. I'm going to read it out of the book at the end. Okay, so, but, so there must, okay, look at that. I didn't even ask. <laughs> That's all right. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Scorpio, something big is going on for you. It's kind of exciting here. We have leap of faith. We have open your heart. And we have let love be your beacon. This leap of faith here, some of you are afraid to take it. I feel like there's some of you who may not feel very supported at the moment or you feel like if you take this leap, you're going to crash and burn. So this is where the water dragon comes into play here to assist you that if you call on this water dragon to help you take the leap that you need to take in order to... Um, I want to say proceed forward, but it's feels more like the beginning of a new journey and um <clears throat> yeah because this see this this person here is walking on this this tightrope right and it's a web and you know how delicate webs are right walking on the tightrope above a web this is so interesting because the first thing I get from this is you not wanting to get caught in the web. Normally I see this as a support system to catch you if you fall. But you don't actually want to get caught in it. You want to be able to walk the rope without getting caught in this web. Hmm, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. And I'm seeing here this light shining bright from this person. And this is your light here, Scorpio. Um, I feel as though there needs to be more faith, having more faith in yourself here, right? Take that leap of faith. Put, put the trust in yourself. But there's some sort of transformation happening as well. It's kind of like, it's kind of like having some sort of blast in your life. That creates a beautiful transformation which you weren't expecting to happen. There's a lot of cards here. I think we do have too many, but I'm going to take them because of the way they've come out. I need, need to pick them up off the floor though. <laughs> okay, Scorpio. Yeah, see, this is you getting in your mind about things, getting in your head, right? Um, but what I want to say this about this is there's this this lack of communication happening for you. Um, and 
it seems as though you're trying to make sense of things and you're trying to see things clearly, but you're not communicating. It's kind of like as soon as you actually maybe find someone to talk to, um, everything's going to become a lot clearer. At the moment, everything's going around and around and around in your mind and it's not helping you to see things clearly. Uh, part of that is you potentially protecting yourself and and you know you know sometimes Scorpio it gets to the point where you don't even know what's going on because it's been so long since you've been putting things off from sharing and um and actually releasing that sometimes we lose sight of where it began to in the first place right okay so yeah Ah, okay, okay. So we've got um clinging to the past here. This is pretending everything is okay when it really isn't. Um, and this is not to say that we cling to the past and that we still want that energy there. Not at all. It's that we haven't actually dealt with what needs to be dealt with. We've just put a box over our head, blinged it up to make it look good as though we've done what we need to do when in fact we haven't, okay? But when we take the box off our head and allow everything to flow out, what we arrive at is this harmony here. We don't need to keep that box on our head, okay? And inside that box is this darkness. And so this is what it is, a matter of you releasing so that you can see the light again, Scorpio. Okay, the next two cards we have here is we have this here, the outsider, still looking through a gate which is not only shut, but locked. It's chained and locked. There is nothing more there for you. It's time to turn around and go in another direction, okay? And do that slowly, okay? Nothing has to be done at um, at the speed of lightning. Go at a turtle's pace, right? Take your time. Go within. Reflect. Do what you need to do. Take care of this inner child here, Scorpio, okay? Because this is ultimately what is... Um, What's that this is where this fear comes from this is where this uncertainty and insecurity comes from within you is the inner child okay yeah yeah um it's very important for you to start drawing on everything you have here okay going within allowing yourself to be still and um, allowing this inner voice to be heard. This inner voice may even be the inner child, okay? But I cannot recommend enough for you to begin meditating so that you can start to calm everything, calm the emotions, allow yourself to be guided by this is water dragon here, okay? Because that is what the water dragon is there for. Because it's... I feel like this is representative of you maybe feeling like you can't get through this broken pillar. You don't know how to get around it. It's like it's in your way. There's this massive obstacle in your way. And I feel like for some of you, the obstacle is actually the emotions. Sharing. Yeah, see, sharing. Sharing so that you can build the life that you want so that you can begin the journey of building the life that you want because you have a dream you have a vision for yourself and e even if you're not sure exactly the details of that um, you know inside what it is that you would like to arrive at and I imagine this would be this harmony here right this is what it is and so that's that's possible that is possible, but very difficult when you're in this energy. Okay, so it's time to take the leap of faith. And if you need to go and find someone to talk to, whether that's a professional or a trusted friend who can give you objective advice, not just jump on the bandwagon and be like, you know, I, I think that's really important. It's important for everyone to have someone around them who is objective, who can see things from another point of view to say, hey, Maybe you could try this, or maybe you could try that. 
that they can see where things aren't working for you and how you can change that to work better for yourself. Okay, and it really is about being open and honest with yourself in order to receive the objective advice because it's not always easy to receive that. And I think as we go through that journey, we sometimes just need someone to hold us and say, yeah, this really sucks. And that's okay. Once you've had that, once you've had that nurturing, it's time to then rise up and go, okay, but what can I do about it? What can I do to change this now? Whatever has happened for you in the past has not been easy. And it's been a really tough journey for you. What is important, Scorpio, is now. And what you can do in the now to change that for yourself because you are in control of your life and it is up to you to take responsibility for the healing that is required. Okay? Open your heart. Yeah. This is this... I'm feeling very closed off. Um, this could be from a past relationship that wasn't healthy. I've got projections on the bottom here. People projecting their toxicity. Whether it be you, whether it be other, the other person, maybe both of you. You know? This is, this is definitely something that needs to be worked on here. And it feels like it still hurts. It feels like it still hurts. And also, I want to say that looking at where this began, where was, when was the first time you ever felt these feelings? Was it when you were a child, you know? And, and really looking at that honestly. Okay. So let's have a look at these cards here. Mm, yes, 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 yes. I feel like um, here, Scorpio, this for you is about you actually opening your heart to yourself and embracing yourself, accepting yourself for who you are fully and utterly. Because there's a sense of hoping that you will find someone who will do that and, and that could even be in friendships as well. Because this doesn't have to be a relationship. This could be friendships, okay? It could be to do with family. It could be to do with any sort of relationship in your life, okay? But the, I want to say here, Scorpio, the most important relationship that you will ever have in your entire life is with yourself. Because you are with yourself 24-7. And if you want to establish any loving relationships, you need to establish that with yourself first. Because that way you will know your standards, you will know your boundaries, you will know what you will and will not tolerate from people. It will, it, there will be things that are so uncomfortable for you to tolerate that you won't be able to stomach having toxic people around you because you treat yourself so well. Okay, um, so this is the connection with yourself. This is you embracing yourself in order to allow that to come in in other, other forms in your life, okay? Breaking out of the conditioning of how you have been traveling, okay? The, um, for some of you, the road feels very long and lonely. And there's a feeling of, um, of, Sorry, there's a sense of feeling very out of place. Um, either in your environment or in the entire world. Feeling, in a sense, like you don't belong. And I want to say here, Scorpio, that feeling that you have of not belonging, it's not a bad thing, even though it feels like it. It's not a bad thing because, Scorpio, you are so much more than what you surround yourself with. All you want to do is fit in and all you want to do is be accepted. But how can the sheep accept the lion when the lion is so much more powerful and mighty 
than the sheep. You're not like everyone else, Scorpio. And I know that that, that journey can be a lonely road. It can be. But I encourage you to celebrate that within yourself, to know that you are special. And it might feel like a curse. But when you actually come to the point of understanding who you are and taking the leap of faith, of believing in yourself and trusting yourself, you will rise up and say, look at who I am. Thank goodness there is no one else like me. Yeah? And this is what will bring in the people that you can connect with, okay? Because what's been happening for so long is you've been trying to make those connections and you think you've got it and you think, yes, this is it. This time I've got this group of friends or I've got this partner or, you know, finally in my family, like we're finally, you know, getting somewhere and we're connecting and then boof, it all falls to bits because it's not real. It's not authentic. The people that are around you are not authentic. They are scrambling and they are looking to you to help them connect. And so they're connecting with other people who are inauthentic as well because those are their people. Whereas for you, Scorpio, the connection is a lot on a higher vibrational level. And it's up to you to raise that vibration for yourself. So that connection can be made here. Okay. And I love this because this card here being open your heart and the reason that that needs to happen. And this is open your heart to yourself to accept yourself here for who you are, which is this lion among the sheep. Okay. You do that so that you can let love be your beacon. Because if it's closed, the light can't shine to guide the way, right? And so in that regard, Scorpio, it is very important for you to do, do this for yourself. And by doing that for yourself, you can then travel this road with the light glowing. And you'll see along the way the beauty in the nature which travels with you. And you'll realise that in fact... You are not alone, and you never were. Okay, so tell me more for Let Love Be Your Beacon. For Scorpio, please, tell me more about this. Let Love Be Your Beacon for Scorpio. I've got two cards. Oh, dang. There was two cards. Like, I'm getting good at the talent of balancing the cards on my wrist when they jump out. Okay. Alrighty. Is that it for Scorpio? Anything else? No. That one kind of fell out, but not really. Okay. Didn't jump out like we like them to. Okay, so I'll oh, look. This is beautiful. Yeah, see, this is this coming together, right? Going on an adventure of this. I think this is a thing, right? Traveling this journey feels lonely, but see it as an adventure to gather along the way the people who work for you. And that's not going to be everyone. It's totally not going to be everyone. You're going to need to, you know, it could be every one in 100 people. It could be every one in 50 people. Who knows? But as you travel, they'll recognize you. Because when you open your heart and you let love be your beacon, it will attract those who are living in that authentic space as well. Okay? When you're living in the space of allowing yourself to be conditioned and trying to fit in with those who are not your people, that's where it gets hard because you're not really truly being who you are okay and I don't mean that as a criticism 
I don't because I've been there too, Scorpio, and I've done that and tried to do that. And it's like, oh, it just doesn't feel. It's like putting on a jacket that doesn't fit. And it's just so uncomfortable. And I feel like you can feel that. But it's like, what else do you do until you know that there is another way? You know, so this is about you learning another way, taking this leap of faith so that you can walk that tightrope instead of falling into the web where everyone else is. Okay, have fun with it. Definitely have fun with it. Let it be light. Let it be fun. Okay, this is a new beginning. Go with the flow. Let this happen for you. For some of you, this could be a new beginning in love. Okay, it could be a new relationship. But I want to say here that until you work on what needs to be worked on and you heal the past, this is not going to attract in the healthy um, love that you desire. Okay, and remember that's about you feeling that for you first and foremost. Okay, and we have past lives and the creator here. And so what I want to say about this is... I feel like this is about you allowing your soulmates to come in. When you open your heart, this see this hourglass here? There's no room for anything to sit down. So opening your heart allows that to expand, to allow your family, your soul family to come through to you. Okay? Connect in with the creator. Know that the creator resides within you. You are the creator and you create your own universe. Okay? This is bringing in someone who absolutely matches you. But in order to do that, Scorpio, you need to do the healing and do the work that is required to get you there. Okay, so let's have a look at what the water dragon has to say here. Twenty-four. Alrighty. Scorpio. Water dragon helps you flow easily around obstacles. Christ light and love are flowing. Develop your psychic abilities. Go with the flow. Going with the flow. <laughs> Okay, so fourth dimensional water dragons are a soft green color and very beautiful. They undulate the flow around them and help everything to move forward with grace and tranquility. Their service work is to maintain the constant movement of Christ, Christ light in the waters of our planet. Cool. They also help us develop our psychic abilities and intuition. Mm. See, some of you could be closing that off as well. Okay, this may be what this is about. Like, you know, you have these abilities and you have that, um, that those psychic abilities and that intuition, but you're like, no, 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 I'm not letting anyone know about that. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, the guidance of this card, the message... The elemental water dragons are bringing you is to flow round your challenges with loving intent. If you ask them, they will help you look for an easy way to circumnavigate your challenges and to deal with people lovingly. To enable this to happen, they will help you to de develop your intuition and psychic abilities by touching your third eye and allowing the petals of the psychic center to open. When you listen to your inner wisdom and trust that the water dragons will guide you, the course of life will run more smoothly. Ask them to cleanse the cells of your body, for this will enable you to shine your light even more brightly. Then your guidance is to relax so that they can access your energy fields and pour the golden Christ light of pure unconditional love into them. Consciously absorb this golden Christ light and flow with it. This will bring you love, 
wisdom and healing and enable you to travel effortlessly on your ascension path. It will also allow you to direct and help other, others with calm and integrity. Beautiful. That is really nice. Okay, Scorpio, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.